subject matter of budget 23 24 i would like to draw your attention and draw the attention of this house where in the honorable leader of this house the prime minister of india has mentioned many times about 2014 2014 when he whenever he mentioned about 2014 i am reminded of two crores job every year i am reminded of two crores job every year for our youth shame nine years of past more than 18 crores of youth would have been included uh, uh, got the employment opportunity nothing has been done so far sir when, I, when he mentioned about 2014 i reminded of 15 lakhs per household back nothing back has back. come there is he said he has promised in 2014 he has remit into the bank account of the particular household that's it has happened and more over sir he has also promised recently last some 2 3 years back he will double the income of farmers by 2022 by 2022 now in 2023 now <laughs> yes what has happened sir so all the promises made by the honorable prime minister of india as all just just there he has posed himself as if he will do he is the, uh, he will do everything for the for the sake of the for the public nothing is happening sir the same thing i want to impress upon this house sir actually sir indian poor and middle class indian poor and middle class are suffering a lot whether they are live in the rural area or urban area they are suffering a lot because of price rise unemployment dwindling income and not only that sir sir these people are suffering like anything actually day by day year by year after year budget after budget the allocation made to the poor and vulnerable sections are slashed for instance i could quote sir mandrega mandrega the so it is a social security scheme yeah that has been brought by upa government by honorable dr manmohan singh on february 2005 what has happened sir for crores and crores of people Il- people in the village they used to have 100 days job their employment is 100 days employment from that employment they just have a uh, have the, uh, the have a bread every day is bread at that time but things are not happening now sir what is in the provision made by the mandrega in the year in this year is 60000 crores for 23 24 previously it was in 23 22 23 revised estimate it is 89400 22 23 it is it was 73 sir 22 23 it was 73 and 22 23 in the revised estimate it was 89 that means the labor to be paid the people who have been engaged has increased multifold from 73 to 89 but how comes up they have they have they have reduced the allocation to 60 60000 crores that means this government is not interested to continue the upa scheme sir sir what is happening sir what do you see percentage of gdp sir 60000 crores 0.2% 0.2% of the allocation made 60000 crores sir what was the report that has been made by the world bank the world bank economists they reported that at least 1.6% of gdp should be provided for the mandrega schemes but are they giving it sir no even now there are 50 they, 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 uh, they this particular scheme Owes a debt of fifteen thousand crores. They have provided sixty thousand crores, but there is a there is a balance of fifteen thousand crores in this year. 
If you deduct 60, the minus 15,000 crores, it is only 45. So, this money is not, not only 60,000 crores, 60,000 crores is, as, 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 as a GDP, it is 0.2%. That will do, it will reduce still further. So, is it fair and the part of the, the government, the welfare government, as he said just before half an hour back, is it a welfare government? I want to know, sir. Moreover, sir, PM Kisan scheme. PM Kisan scheme is intended for the welfare of the farmers. What has happened? 22, 23, they have provided 68,000 crores. Now they have provided 60,000 crores. In the RE also it, is, it was 60,000 crores. Now also it is in the budget estimate also 60,000 crores. So that means not, not in the RE, they have not increased the um, allegation in the RE. They have not increased the budget estimate in, um, in this year. That means all these people, all these farmers have become overnight, they have become rich. I want to know, sir, how they become rich? See, the Kisan, the Kisan scheme is not for the poor farmers. But are they, have they become industrialists overnight? No. They have not become rich. Uh, they have not uh, included in the higher, higher income group. Things are going bad towards them. See, things, sir, they are killing the schemes after schemes. They are not interested in helping the poor. Sir, what has happened? Allocation made in PM Kisan in 22-23 is 60,000 crores, and now it is 60,000 crores. Food subsidy reduced by 89,844. Fertilizer subsidy reduced by 50,120 crores. Petroleum 6,914 crores they cut. Urea subsidy cut was 22,998 crores. If you add the subsidies together, it comes around 1,58,990 crores they, they have reduced from the original. Is it proper on this part of the government? I want to know from the finance minister when, he, when she replies. The last fiscal, 22-23, expenditure cut in education was 4,397 crores. In the last year, the health um, expenditure was cut by 9,255. In the last year, social welfare measures were cut by 5,278 crores in the revised estimate. Allegation of minorities education uplift. Minorities of education uplift from 2015, it has reduced to 1,689 only, sir. Rural development allegation 23-24 was, has been reduced from 182,382 to 159,964. A reduction of 22,418. Sir, I am coming to Finance Commission, sir. Finance Commission grants two states. So what is happening? 22-23 budget estimate. They have provided 1,92,108 crores to the states in the budget estimate. The revised estimate was reduced to 1,73,257 crores. Further reduced to 1,68,480 crores in the budget estimate of 23-24. Now, sir, in addition to the losses of the, the states have been facing due to cells and surcharge, mounting in the recent years, instead of 41% of gross tax revenue towards the devolution of recommended to the states by 15th Finance Commission, now they are giving only 30% as of now, sir. The state loss due to this account was 2,12,427 crores in 2021. Increased to 2,99,251 in 2023, revised estimate. And to 3,56,504 crores in 23-24 budget estimate. Is it cooperative federalism or quasi federalism? I want to know, sir. Sir, actual capital expenditure. 7,50,246 in the budget is made up 22-23. 7,28,274 in the revised is made up 
विच इज जस्ट टू पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द जी डी पी सर सर रेवेन्यू आई एम कमिंग टू रेवेन्यू सर इंप्लीकेशन रेवेन्यू लास् ड्यू टू ऑल ओवर मार्जिनल टैक्स रिपेट अमाउंट टू थर्टी एट थाउजेंड क्रोर्स विच इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट फोर परसेंट ओनली सर विच इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट फोर परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल रेसिप्ट फोर्टी फाइव लैक्स थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन्टी सेवन फॉर ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर बजट इंस्टीट्यूट शार्प इंफ्लेशन हेज रेड्यूज टू रियल वैल्यू ऑफ मनी टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन सर द फ्री ऑफ पर्सनल इनकम टैक्स विथ रेट्स सिंस टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन एट फोर्टी टू परसेंट Because tax rebates would not would not have any impact on falling consumption, sir. Deficit, even after so many cuts in infrastructure spending and welfare measures to meet your total expenditure of forty one thousand forty one lakhs eighty seven thousand eighty seven thousand two thirty two crores, which is fifteen point three percent of GDP. You have your net tax revenue is twenty lakhs eighty six thousand six sixty two. Cross only that is 7.7 percent of the GDP. In the absence of disinvestment, you have been borrowing heavily. As per 22-23, you have borrowed 17,55,314 crores. Your interest burden is 10,79,971 crores. How will the massive borrowings help to achieve the macroeconomic stability? It will not help growth. It will not growth. Not only it will not generate employment generation. It won't help reduce inflation. It won't help the rural distress. <laughs> Sir, everybody talked about the other issue. That is A issue. I mean to say that A issue. Everybody spoke about it. My only question about the particular person, the company. At Orissa, it seems in Orissa, the western, uh, uh, eastern port, one of the eastern port, the money forty-five thousand crores has been remitted to this particular uh, port account from Mauritius. From Mauritius, it has been dispatched. The money has been dispatched from one letter, one single address, by three persons. Three persons have sent the money towards a deposit, towards a share deposit of the particular person, particular company. person's company. So three persons in a particular, who is that particular? Who are the particular person? Which address of Mauritius it has come? Is anybody any 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 scrutiny is there? Sebi is looking at it. Sebi is slipping over the issue. Each and everything, all the financial issues. Which are clandestinely happening in India is day by day at least twindling the economy of this India, of India, sir. This is the most dangerous thing. This has to be taken in very seriously, sir. Sir, some time back, the honourable leader of the house has mentioned about 2G. Without any reference, there is no reference in this. Um, what is that in the uh, president address? Nothing is there. Why should we refer about 2G? I stood up and asked the question, but he has not answered. But now I am asking all the people, all the people connected to the 2G spectrum, falsely accused. Falsely accused. Not only falsely accused, they have come out unscathed. Not even single point, single uh, crime, just pointed out against anybody. Then why should he mention this man, sir? Such a tall and towering personality he is coming before the Parliament of India, and he is mentioning something sweeping remarks against people who are in the Parliament and who are who are also not in Parliament. Is it fair on the part of the particular person, sir? I want to know through you, sir. Sir, the Prime Minister, being a Prime Minister, he is not. Just ask anything. You should not just just muscling on any persons who are of the very good nature. 
See, any, anything that has, it has gone to the judicial system, four to five years, judicial scrutiny was have been conducted, nothing was found wrong. And even the judges himself, he said, I was waiting about five years. Government has not mentioned against, they have not even, they could not point out anything on the persons who have been accused and put into jail False unnecessarily. Accused. Falsely accused. Falsely accused. And another thing, sir, I want to just uh, mention about, um, sir, uh, our problem, you know, pretty well, you are the adjacent, you are belongs to the state. In Kachetu, what is happening, sir? Kachetu is a part and parcel of India. Once it has been handed over to the Sri Lankan counterpart. Sri Lanka has got no jurisdiction at all in Kachetu. But unfortunately, because of the executive agreement between India and Sri Lanka, at the time of emergency, it has happened. But now, they have got no locus and they are told to hold it properly constitutionally. Indian constitution never permitted that Kachatibu belongs to, it has not been ceded by the Indian constitution. If there is, a, if there is a, any provision, it has been conceded by the, by the Indian constitution and both the houses should have passed the pass resolution and constitutional amendment would have happened. To see that Sri Lanka is getting that uh, Kachatiu. But because of the Kachatiu, our fishermen are dead today. All these people, they are in the hands of, they are, uh, they are suffering in the hands of the Indian, Sri Lankan security forces every day in, day out. They are arresting our people. They are, to procure, they are taking, uh, they are, uh, taking out all these proceeds they have collected from the sea. And they have been taken into custody. And they have put into jail. And not only, the, not only the persons, but also the boats have been seized and they are kept in the, uh, kept in the open sun. And they are not returning the boats. This is the day-to-day -day affairs of the such. That is why I request the government of India, at least now, they wake up and see that there is a proper, they, if at all any seeding should be done, it should be done by the parliament of India. It is against the parliamentary system, it is against the parliament. I think the concerned people should take note of these things, things, things and they, are, they should get back the Kachetiv, then only things will, have, things will be all right as per, as per the Constitution, sir. Sir, 13A, 13A of Sri Lankan um, Constitution, sir. it has not been considered so far by the Sri Lankan government. 13A, goes to show that each and every land bit of the north and northeast province of the Sri Lanka and also the police power should be vested with north and northeast provincial administration. But so far, 13A was spoken by many prime ministers. But nothing is happening. 13A has not been, that has not been implemented so far by the Sri Lankan. The government of India, mighty government of India, should come, go, go before the Sri Lankan counterparts and see that 13 years implemented, sir. <coughs> sir, Sayadri Samutram, sir. Sayadri Samutram is one of the uh, most important project. It is a project of 2004 crores. It has been, uh, it has been uh, inaugurated, in the work has been inaugurated by the, the then, Honorable uh, Prime Minister of India, Manmohan Singh, at the, uh, in the immediate presence of Sonia Gandhi and my leader, Dr. Kalingar Karnanidhi. It was done on two sons. Oh, I'll, I'll conclude, sir. I won't take much time, sir. I know that you have come only for this purpose to stop me, sir. <laughs> sir, the work has started. At the, at, the, at the dawn of that particular, uh, say, at the, at the stroke of inauguration itself, the deep sea work has started the particular, particular second. While the work was going on in Adams Bridge in 2007, 14, 9, 2000, court has ordered, they stayed. But what is happening, sir? The petition, the claim of petition was, project would damage the mythological Ramers Bridge 
and that is and its heritage. What the what has happened now, sir? Recently in Rajya Sabha, the minister himself went to the, 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 the has narrated that right, right, this right. this this particular bridge, Ramar bridge, so called. Has, so -called. So-called Ramar Bridge has nothing to do with it. It has got no man-made structure, he said. I said in 8-5-2007, in, in, in our Lok Sabha, sir, I said as a minister, the Arnas Bridge area was made up of sand shoals and limestone caused by the natural waves, natural waves and sedimentation over a period of 5 to 7 lakhs, 7 lakhs years. According to geological studies by GSI, there is no evidence of man-made structure or of heritage value. Now, after 15 years, the Minister of Science and Technology has stated in RS, in Rajya Sabha, on 22, 12, 22, the same, the same facts have been reiterated by our Jitendra Singh, sir. I am happy at least now, Government of India has sensitized to understand what is scientific temperament. And scientific temperament has to prevail over this issue and see that Sayyid Samutaram is immediately started forthwith without any hesitation, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, it's a point of order.